President Sir Ramaphosa has indicated that he's in talks with South African-born billionaire Elon Musk, one of the richest men in the world, to get Musk satellite high-speed internet service Starlink operating in South Africa. I will never look at the stars the same way again after learning this incredible news. The night sky, once a canvas of distant dreams, is now a gateway to a connected future. President Cyril Ramaphosa is all in to fast track Elon Musk's Starlink satellite service in South Africa, aiming to revolutionize the country's internet landscape. Uh, having to do with Starlink. So I know about it uh, and have even, uh, uh, yes, I know about it. <laughs> this bold move could redefine how we connect, communicate and innovate. With talks underway and regulatory hurdles being tackled, we're closer than ever to having high-speed internet, even in the most remote areas. This could bridge the digital divide and bring countless opportunities to underserved communities. Imagine students in rural areas accessing the same resources as those in urban centers, or small businesses reaching global markets with ease. While neighboring countries like Zambia and Zimbabwe already enjoy Starlink's benefits, South Africa's entry could be a game changer. It could set a new standard for internet connectivity across the continent. The ripple effects could be profound, influencing everything from education to healthcare and even agriculture. Imagine seamless connectivity from Cape Town to Limpopo, boosting our digital economy and technological innovation. One challenge, ensuring that the infrastructure meets the needs of all South Africans. This means not just urban areas, but also the rural heartlands where connectivity can transform lives. Meeting South Africa's black ownership requirements is crucial for inclusive growth and equitable access to technology. Do you like Elon Musk? <laughs> um. let, 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 let me say to you, uh, I, I have had, Elon Musk is, is, is South African born American now. Uh, uh, I have, had discussions with him and have said, Elon, uh, you've become so successful uh, and you're investing in a variety of countries. I want you to come home and invest here. So he and I are going to have a further uh, discussion about a variety of, of, of things. Whatever one may think about him, he is a hugely successful uh, business person and uh, having had those discussions with him to, to advance the interests of South Africans. This initiative must be inclusive, ensuring that all South Africans benefit from this technological leap forward. But with President Ramaphosa's commitment, negotiations are in full swing. The government is working closely with stakeholders to make this vision a reality. This collaboration is key to overcoming challenges and ensuring that the benefits of Starlink are felt across the nation. This move isn't just about faster internet. It's about positioning South Africa as a tech-savvy leader on the global stage. It could attract international investments and foster local innovation. The potential for growth is immense, with new opportunities for startups and established businesses alike. Stay tuned. Exciting times are ahead. The future of South Africa's digital landscape is looking brighter than ever. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the possibilities are endless. From education to business, from healthcare to entertainment, the impact of Starlink could be transformative. So keep your eyes on the stars because the future is coming fast and it's bringing a world of opportunities with it. Um, and uh, he, he runs widespread businesses and in many ways he's already invested in South Africa through his uh, X uh, online uh, process which used to be Twitter so he's already present in our lives as South Africans so I w will be taking further discussions about how we can attract uh, Elon Musk to come and invest here in South Africa.